everyone. Hey guys, while well, clips of my most recent trips to Cedar Point play, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, explanation as to why I've been MIA lately. And I also wanted to let you know what's happening on this channel. I overcommitted myself over the corona lockdown uh, because I wasn't working and so I was releasing two videos a week. There's no way I can continue doing that. I will be going back to my old schedule, which is releasing a video once every other week. One week will be Disney movies, and then two weeks later will be a Marvel review. Also, I am going to Disney World, so write down in the comments what you want to see from my Disney vacation. I'll be doing reviews very similarly to this one, only instead of about Cedar Point, I'll be talking about Disney World. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at NotYourNormalG1. I'll be posting tons of stuff about Disney while I'm there and I'd love to connect with you. Now, enjoy this quality content, and I'll talk with you again soon. I just wanted to tell you a quick story. This is a story of the worst day ever at the theme park that I love the most. I'm devastated. Uh, today, we're gonna talk about why Cedar Point absolutely sucks. I'm sorry, Cedar Point. I love you, and you've broken my heart. I feel the way that I felt when I was married, and then uh, she decided not to love me anymore. You know, like, you were so important to me. And then you went and did that. Cedar Point, I feel about you the way I feel about my ex-wife. Does that make you happy? <laughs> okay, so Cedar Point has these things called access passes. All right, everyone, we're here at Cedar Point again today. The first hour of the park you can get on to the rides, the, the big four rides, uh, without having to have an access pass. So I think that's what we're gonna try today. We'll see what happens. And they are the worst things ever, I am discovering. We've got the access passes thing. Let's just put those to the side here. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. I went with my best friends to Cedar Point just recently. Didn't film for that, but we did decide to get some access passes. Then I went the next week with some friends and it was great. Uh, but we only got five rides done for the entire day. <laughs> so... Yeah, it wasn't like the best day ever. We're not gonna be able to make it to Steel Vengeance. <laughs> but we are going to try to hit Val Raven right after this. I still love you, Cedar Point. You can change and I'll come back to you. <laughs> I'm going this weekend. There's just a lot of issues with this access pass system. It's time for a little bit of popcorn. while I tell you the rest of this story. So we get to Cedar Point and we immediately get into the lines for the access passes because we thought we might actually try to get some of these big rides in. Our first ride today will be Millennium Force. It's one of my favorite rides and I cannot wait to get out to it. So the first hour of the park, you can ride any of the big rides um, and it was a really, really short line. I mean, we had like a, a 20 minute wait, I think. It really wasn't that bad. This is all the bigger the line is. We just got into the end of the line. It's not very far. But then we got into line later in the day with our access pass. And we had like an hour-ish line for Millennium Force. Mind you, this was still at the beginning of the day and it was with our access pass. Waiting in line for the access pass in the mornings really doesn't take that long. Um, the lines are just moving very quickly. So access passes in the morning are pretty well worth it, but the access passes have also been divided from in the morning to also in the evening at 3.30. So you can get access passes at either uh, 11 o'clock when you come into the park and or you can get access passes at 3.30. You're able to have a couple of choices here, which is awesome, but at 3.30, everybody starts getting in line for access passes at 3 o'clock, 2.30, 2 o'clock even. People were already standing in line. So we stood in line starting at about 2.45 after we got done with our last ride. 
popcorn is done, it's time for me to eat it. Mm. Cheese popcorn is the best. And if you disagree, you can just unsubscribe now. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Please don't unsubscribe. Have you seen how low my subscriber count is? I need you. Please stay. I love you all. Even if you don't like cheddar cheese popcorn. But if you don't like it, you are a heathen. He says while eating popcorn with his mouth open. Maybe this is why I'm still single. Anyway, so we get on Millennium Force and it's pretty quick. But then we've missed all of these opening rides that would have had very short lines. And because of the access passes, all of these smaller lines, we're talking like smaller lines like the Mine Train ride, like Iron Dragon, like Blue Streak. Those rides all have absolutely horrendous lines, like an hour long at least. And that's about as short of a line as you can get at Cedar Point until 3.30. At 3.30, everything changes. You wanna know why? Because everybody's back in line for access passes again. And then everybody's trying to get these access passes so, because they wanna get into shorter lines. We actually got two access passes, but then yeah. we're actually going through Millennium Force one more time just to see if we can get a access pass for it. We'll see what happens here, guys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, did you already come through? Yeah. I'm sorry, you can't come through. Okay, so it seems as though if you don't have a camera, you can go <laughs> twice. Because she probably won't notice you. But the truth is you're probably not supposed to put supposed to go through twice because that's obviously what the what the rule is. We were there in line for an hour. Access passes don't save you any time. They only create longer lines for the shorter rides. So the only way for you to get shorter lines for the for the access pass rides is to ride them in the morning. Don't even get access passes at 3.30. There's absolutely no reason to do that at all. Unless you see a line that is so short that it would be worth it. Like, if people all of a sudden stop getting access passes, it might work for you, but I don't see that probably happening en masse at this point. So, we hopped in line for one ride, and then we realized that we only have like 45 minutes until the end of our of our access pass. But this line is, for like Val Raven is like an hour and a half. So what are we supposed to do? We have to jump out of the line and go to the new line with the access pass, which we never should have done. We thought that it would be shorter, but it turns out then we've got to wait another hour and a half for that ride. So these lines are absolutely huge today. To ride Steel Vengeance, with the access pass was a two hour long line. I don't have time for that. It's a great ride. Surprisingly smooth. It's just not good enough for that. Plus, you have to get a locker. You have to pay for the locker. For Steel Vengeance, you have to have a locker. I suppose you could store your phone in the bushes. I've done that before. I wouldn't recommend it though, but you can't have anything in your pockets and you can't take your phone on. So you have to pay for a, a locker, plus you are phoneless for two hours. It is the most boring two hours of your life. Stand in that line without a phone. Thank goodness for friends. By the time we were done, we were only able to do one more thing. Plus we hit up like a really minor attraction at the very end, we did the mine ride at the very end after walking back and forth, back and forth through the park, ad nauseum, just trying to find something that we could do. I would recommend don't get any fast passes unless you get, <laughs> look at my cheesy fingers, <laughs> unless you get a fast pass in the morning, use that one fast pass, be done with it by the end of the day, and then by 3.30 when everybody else is in line for fast passes, hit up maybe one or two other rides, which means you're gonna have to choose only two access pass attractions throughout the day. So in the morning when you come in, grab an access pass and then run to another access pass attraction 
for the first hour while they're still letting people on without access passes. Then just hop into other lines throughout the day. I have a friend that's going to Cedar Point with me this weekend. He just asked me what is an access pass. How much this little flower child has to learn yet. Access passes are really just not helpful for Cedar Point at all. If you go to Cedar Point, please let me know if this works for you. Or did it work better to get access passes just in the morning and not get any more access passes throughout the day? You would think that they are doing access passes for the purpose of keeping social distance in the line so that you have fewer people in the line waiting for hours and you just have a quick line that people need to go through. And that theory sounds good, but the problem is everybody is standing in access pass lines, not social distance. It doesn't help anything because everybody's just crowded together waiting for an access pass. It's also very hard to manage crowd control, so people kind of cut in line and uh, people come in and out, and you're never sure if somebody just went to go grab a glass of water for their family or if they've been riding rides while dad saves the spot for the rest of them, or if people just straight up cut in front of complete and total strangers. So these access pass lines don't help with social distancing. They don't help with saving time in the park. Students are in school right now, so they're coming to the theme parks on the weekends. People are no longer as fearful of COVID, so people are also more willing to go to the parks and there's only one day a week when people can enjoy those parks. So it makes a much higher concentration of people all at one time at these parks, which turns into extremely long lines. It's really become almost impossible to do a whole lot. So thank you guys for coming along on this journey of anger today. I need friends. You guys Like and subscribe. I'd love to see you guys here. Please leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. And I just genuinely love to hear from you guys. And I read all of your comments. You guys have a great day. Bye.